I think, you know, there's just so many times that there's not really one particular moment that particularly stands out. I think I've enjoyed every single one of them. She doesn't do the washing up though. I'm Josh Boutwood and I am the corporate chef at the Bistro Group and chef owner of Savage and Elm. And this little girl is my daughter Malaya. Hi. <laughs> so um, obviously she's quite shy. And uh, so today we'll be doing a dish that I do on Sundays usually, which is a uh, roast chicken with some uh, vegetables and, and cauliflower cheese. And Sundays is the only day that I actually get to cook when I'm at home. Um, so this is the dish that Malaya is her favorite, that, the one that we do together. And uh, hopefully it turns out okay today as well. So first the cauliflower, we're just gonna break it off into florets so that we get um, some nice even sizes so they cook all the same. And while Malaya's doing that, I'm just gonna get these little marble potatoes into a pot of boiling water, um, just so they soften up ever so slightly. Although we're gonna put it into the oven later, this just helps it be a little bit faster, especially on a Sunday when you just wanna relax. Can I help you? So we want them, yeah. Then if I just get the knife like that, you could just cut it to the same size like that. So just keep going along. Okay. okay. Do you wanna use the knife? Yeah. Just be very careful, please. Watch your fingers. This would be funny if she cuts her finger on camera. <laughs> Sorry, if her, if her mum's watching, it's not going to be funny. It's going to be terrible. Can I show you a trick? Because you could just take all of it off at once by cutting it down. Here. I wasn't all of it at once. Well, it's close to all of it at once. We don't need that. That can be there. Wait for this cauliflower. While we're waiting for the cauliflower, you want to grate the cheese? Yep. We need all of that cheddar, that one. And then we need a little bit of that. Chicken. We like it with lemon inside. All right, so you're gonna put the whole, or half a lemon inside that cavity. Take a whole garlic bulb, cut it in half, and that's gonna go inside there as well. And then some fresh thyme. Find some space for that to go in there. Salt, all over the skin. Good amount of pepper on the chicken. And what, do you, you prefer breast or leg? Breast. Breast. So while we're waiting for those potatoes to soften up and the cauliflower to cook, that's enough of parmesan. Gonna bet the get the chicken in the oven, right? Mm -hmm. 180 for about 20 minutes, depending on how strong the oven is. No oil, no nothing. Go straight in. You grew up in our restaurants though, didn't you? True. So even when she was, um, I opened my first restaurant when you were one. Just, just, just turned one, coming up to two years old. And then you were constantly inside the kitchen bugging me. <laughs> okay, so the cauliflower is almost cooked, almost. We don't want to fully cook it because we want to cook it in the oven a little bit later on. Cauliflower is ready. I'm going to make a bechamel, so we need the cheese quite soon. That should be enough. That's plenty. Okay, then we have enough for, to go onto the top as well. Remember the bechamel? So we're gonna add uh, butter and flour. Some nice butter here. Using the same pot that we cooked the cauliflower in. Just gonna add a knob of butter in there. I think, I think what's nice though is about this dish is that, because it's a Sunday, like I've done, you know, 100 plus hours that week and uh, it's nice to just get everything ready and everything at the end just goes into the oven just to finish up. So, you know, we can watch a movie or we can go for a walk and then, you know, 40 minutes later that everything is in the oven, everything's ready and we can start eating as a family, which is really important for us. Um, butter, flour, and then egg, really quick whisk. Do you want to put the milk in? No, nice and slowly, nice steady stream. Keep going, faster, faster, faster. If you don't put it in fast enough, it's gonna clump up in like a dough. That is looking really good. Slow down a minute. Stop. We cook this out for a little bit. We season it with some salt. I'm not gonna put pepper. I'm gonna put nutmeg. Just a little bit, it's quite strong. Notice there's not much salt in there. All right, so we're gonna add the cheese. 
start with the cheddar cheese, this is one. Save some for the top. Uh, you're gonna have to grate some more. And just half of that. Yeah. Then it starts to get nice and stringy and melty. If we add too much salt in the beginning, the cheese is gonna make it too salty. Okay, you tell me what you think. Yep, perfect. Cauliflower goes in. Is it hot? It's hot still. Cheese sauce goes on top. Ready? You want to make sure every single florette is covered. Are you saying that I missed a spot? Where? <laughs> Where? Okay, wait. Okay, it's quite a lot then. Obviously, I think Dad needs glasses now. There's a lot of cheese actually. All right, now you can top it with um, the, extra the extra cheese. So a little tip at home, if you don't have much cheese, you can add a little bit of mustard to the bechamel that we're cooking over here. That's gonna create an almost cheesy flavor. But you still have to have cheese for that stringiness and that savoriness, but that mustard helps. Sunday roast, so I'm half English, and Sunday roast has always been a family tradition. It's where we all gather together and eat as a family. Um, even though I've, I've not really lived in the UK for many, many years, it, I still hold that tradition. And, and Malaya's mum is Swedish. They don't have that type of tradition, but I feel it's very important for us to really keep that little bit of my upbringing and having it for them, uh, for their childhood. So it's, um, yeah, Sundays are sacred for us. We don't always do it. I mean, there's exceptions to the rule. Sometimes we'll just go out for lunch or dinner because um, we don't feel like cooking. But most Sundays, it's a Sunday roast, whether it be pork. Is, it, is that why? God. They tell you never to work with kids. What am I doing now? You know, for me, it's very hard to spend time with the kids because of the amount of demand that the restaurants uh, put on you. So whenever there is this moment or an hour or whether it be a day, it mostly evolves around um, doing something with these monsters. Um, but it's always fulfilling. I think, you know, there's just so many times that it's not really one particular moment that particularly stands out. I think I've enjoyed every single one of them. She doesn't do the washing up though. Potatoes are really simple. It's gonna slice them in half. Um, they're already semi-soft, um, but they are still a little bit, have a little bit of bite to it. They're seasoned nicely, but we still need to add that little bit of finishing salt towards the end. What we're gonna do, we cut them, we're gonna cut them in half, dress them in olive oil, put all of the flavors, which would be thyme, parsley, sun-dried tomatoes, black olives, and garlic whole, and then it just goes into the oven with everything else, which we'll put in at the same time as the cauliflower. And then hopefully, if everything goes well, everything's ready at the same time, and then we go and eat. Right. Like olives, at a young age, you're eating olives. Yeah. I did see that, you know that, right? right so garlic, let me do this. Go in there like that, right? Kind of like at home, this is kind of the best way of doing things. Olive oil. Oh, we'll, we'll tidy up later. Salt, just to season it, although we put salt in the cooking. A little bit of pepper. And then you can get your hands dirty now and mix that all in. You roast the garlic whole. It kind of stays sweeter and less bitter. And then you have that lovely moment where the garlic's really soft and you can just mash it with the potatoes. I'll put it in, do you wanna put it in? The space for you there. And the cauliflower cheese goes in. Of course, I measured it perfectly when we started. Now, we wait 
for about 40 minutes and then we're good to go. Finish off the potatoes really quickly. Let's take some red onion, keep the red onion raw. Are you gonna cry? Maybe, it's a very sad thing cutting onions. Okay, onions are gonna go on top. Do you know why I put onions on top of there no. when they're not cooked? So they're not as sweet and they've got this lovely acidity to it. Okay, you can put the cheese in while I go and uh, sit like, in the corner and let my eyes water out. The oil too? Yeah, everything goes in. What do I mix it with? With a spoon. It is hot, be careful, don't touch the sides. So while you do that, I'm oh gonna... Oh my God. You're crying too? Yeah. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> Having to celebrate Father's Day, for me, unbelievably sad. It's not Father's Day. Well, this will come out on Father's Day. You just ruined it. You are crying more than I'm crying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the chicken and we're going to put this straight onto the plate like that. Okay, and then you're going to take those potatoes that are mixed with all the cheese. I'm just going to put it all the way around, okay? Let's move this closer. Now? Yep, just all the way around. Make it look nice, as if Mummy's going to eat it. Which is not. Shh, pretend that she will. So it has, it will, must look nice. And try not to spill it all on the floor, okay? You have made such a mess right there. All of our hard work is going off the plate. Why don't we bring this closer? Okay. It's strong. Still strong, do you want some help? No, I'm not crying. So remember, right, we didn't cook the cauliflower all the way through. Mm -hmm. But the cauliflower now is nice. It's perfectly cooked. Is people going to do this at home? Uh, if they're mad enough, like me and you, yes. But this is super simple to do at home. Sure. So Sunday dinner served, and uh, this is like the most important moment of our Sunday. And you are a fan of breasts, so I'm going to slice this off for you. This. And you like the skin as well, because that has all the flavour on it. Mm, it looks juicy. And so there's the breast. Let's take some of that skin for you. And for the kids watching this at home, skin is not the most healthiest thing to eat. I'm going to take... But this one is yummy. Do you know why? Because he made it. Mm. <laughs> no more. And you, and you. And vegetables. Malaya, what do you like most about this dish? The chicken. Mum always says don't talk with food in your mouth. No, that's you. Is that me? Reality check. <laughs> so what is it that you like about the chicken? The juiciness. Mm -hmm. And how it tastes. You know, you never used to like potatoes when you were younger. You were full on rice. And your brother is the opposite. Mm. Only eats potatoes, doesn't eat rice. I'm happy that you're out of this. Or you can actually enjoy potatoes now. I'm not such a big fan of potatoes though. No, but you still can eat it though. I think it's nicer when it's roasted, don't you think? Mm. So that was our Sunday roast that we do at home. And uh, super easy recipe. It's a great way to involve with, with the kids and, and the family as well. And it's not difficult whatsoever. So on that note, I want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day. Right. You wish me happy Father's Day now? Happy Father's Day. Wow, that was so drawn out. You had to do that. It was like scripted. <laughs> Isn't there a kid day? No, there's no kid days. Thank God for that. Happy kid it's day. It's your birthday. <laughs>